Hi, welcome everybody. Welcome to the special place to be with God. This is a place like the place where you are, where we can talk to God, we can listen to God, we can tell the stories of God. And it's a place where we know we can relax and we don't have to hurry because we have all the time we need. So I want to start with our greeting and say, Christ is risen. And your response is, the Lord is risen indeed. So you can share that greeting with anyone that you want to. We are now on the fifth Sunday after Pentecost. So you know that the red Sunday was Pentecost, which we sometimes call the birthday of the church. So I am going to light our Christ candle. to help us get ready. And our Christ candle reminds us that Christ is always with us at all times and especially when we gather to hear one of God's stories. So I'm also going to invite you to Settle your bodies in. Make sure that you are in a comfortable and relaxed position. Take a couple deep breaths. And then sing along with me, Be Still and Know. And while you sing, you can kind of imagine that these are God's words to you and that we're inviting God in so that we can hear what God has to say to us. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. So the first thing I want to do is read you today's story out of our Bible. So this is our Bible. And today's story is from the book of Matthew. It actually comes right after last week's story, if you saw us do the parable of the mustard seed last week. So this is Matthew 13, verse 33. And it says, he told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. That's a pretty short verse. So we are going to explore a little bit about what that verse might be talking about. you know that this might be a parable. There are several reasons why we think that. Parables are very precious, like gold. And this box is gold. It also looks kind of like a present. And parables are also kind of like presents. They've already been given to us. We can't take them or buy them or steal them, because they're already ours. Another hint is that our box has a lid, which reminds us that sometimes parables kind of seem to have a lid on them. We're not quite sure what Jesus was trying to tell us. But if you're able to lift the lid, and look inside, you'll find something pretty special. So let's see what we might be able to learn from this parable.
I wonder what this could be. It's kind of a funny color. It's not really dark brown, but it's not yellow. Kind of reminds me of maybe a mud puddle. I don't know. Or a hole in the ground. What do you think? What does this remind you of? Well, once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. And he taught them about a place called the kingdom of heaven. But they didn't really understand what he meant. Because they'd never been to the kingdom of heaven. They didn't know anyone who had. They didn't know where it was. So one day, they asked him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? And he said, the kingdom of heaven is like leaven. Sometimes we call leaven yeast. Yeast is something you use to make bread. So he said the kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a person took This person took that leaven and they mixed it in with three measures of flour. And they mixed it all up, kind of hid that leaven inside with the flour. And they poured some water on it and they kept mixing. And then they waited. And as they waited, it began to grow. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew even taller until all of it was leavened. I wonder if there's any way to take this loaf of bread that was all leavened and put it back down in the bowl like it was before. I wonder what Jesus thought leaven might really be. I wonder what this person was doing while the bread was being leavened. What do you wonder about? I wonder if the person spoke any words while they were waiting and while the bread was being leavened. I wonder why they put the leaven in with the flour. I wonder if you have ever been to a place like this, like this table, or like this whole place. And I wonder where this whole place might really be. I 
I wonder why Jesus told that story. I'm going to change our light now to remind us that the light of Christ that was in one time at one place can now be at all places, at all times, wherever we go and whatever we do. Amen.